everyone, Tim Hodges, John Bow, Jack Perkins, welcoming you back to speedcafe.com's Crimpsafe V8 Supercar Endurance Countdown. Boys, time for the single car teams. Let's start with Tony Dalberto Racing. Uh, finished ninth at Bathurst last year. JB, what would you expect out of this team this year? Well, obviously it's a very good car. It's an FPR car. FPR cars are, you know, the car of the moment in terms of pace. Uh, this year's probably, I would say, they've been disappointing, generally, but capable of, of having lots of speed. It just doesn't happen often enough. So they could be a, certainly a top 10 contender, no question. Certainly not a, a winning combination, I don't think. Dale Woods, solid, good solid driver. He did a good job last year. And, uh, you know, if all the planets align, Tony's capable of being in the, you know, the top 10 in qualifying as well. But, you know, if, we, if we're picking winners, which I think we are, I, uh, you know, they're not going to win it. End uh, of story. Well, JB says they're not going to win. I mean, best case scenario, Jack, if the, everything goes right for this team, can they finish on the podium? It, you'd probably need a lot of other guys to have a bad day. Uh, there's obviously a lot of outright cars. The championship contenders, straight away, there's four solid cars and teams there. But... Like JB said, um, you know, it's, it's good continuity having the same drivers last year, same car as last year. I know Dale, I've driven with Dale at Bathurst before. He's very steady, very reliable. And he's also in the, in the Dunlop series. So that gives him a extra mileage before Sunday and puts him probably a step ahead of a few other co-drivers. So look, I think they'd love to have the same result as last year. Perhaps a couple of positions better would be, it would be a very good result. All right, expectations for Sandown and Bathurst. Tony Dalberto caught up with speedcafe.com's very own Grant Rowley. Thanks guys, I'm here with Tony Dalberto. Tony, last year a top 10 finish for yourself and Dale Wood at Mount Panorama. Can you guys improve on that in 2012? Oh, we'd like to think so. You know, it's uh, been another 12 months in the car and I think the group has improved. Um, you know, we're definitely kicking some goals now and to have Dale back again this year, um, you know, just continues, uh, you know, having the same driver in the car and uh, we've got a good relationship. So we'll definitely be gunning for that top 10 and uh, you know, we'll just see what happens in the endurance races and hopefully uh, we come out with some really good results. That was Tony Dalberto. Now for the V8 Supercar Crim Safe Rating. It's over to Dick Johnson on Tony Dalberto Racing's chances at Sandown and Bathurst. Speed Cafe's ratings for Tony Dalberto's team is five out of 10. Now that's a pretty fair rating. A team, really good equipment. You never know what could happen on the day. Thank you, Dick. Five out of ten, boys. Is that about right for this team? I mean, they are... He does have an FPR car. It is good equipment. There's nothing wrong with the equipment. Uh, I think uh, it's probably fair in, in form and, and guides and things. It's probably pretty fair. But uh, anything could happen if, if a lot of other guys have a bad day. These guys could easily, easily turn someone else's misfortune into their fortune. OK, that's Tony Delberto racing. Another single car entry is Lucas Dumbrell Motorsport JB. It is a young team with good equipment. What can they expect heading to Mount Panorama? Well, once again, they've got a, a good car. It's a full 888 car with 888 backup, as, which means access to data, set up information. So it's, you know, if you're going to run a single car team, it's as good as, as you're going to get. I've been impressed with Taz Douglas several times this year. Uh, with his pace, I think it's you know it's a chance to once again, if as Jack said, if if you have a few of the fancied runners have problems, they can be a top ten contender. Um, Scott Pye is obviously a star of the future, and he's been placed at Lucas Dumbrell, I'm, I'm sure, by Roland Dane. So Roland Dane, you know, obviously has some belief in him. But, you know, as, as I said before, winning the race, there's not going to be many people can win these races. And if they can finish in the top ten, it's a good job. Jack, I want to ask you about Scott Pye, but we'll do that in a moment. Let's first listen to Taz Douglas about heading to Bathurst and being the lead driver for the very first time. Yeah, you know, it's obviously good to, to go into it as a, a number one driver, I suppose. You know, um, probably get to start Bathurst, which I haven't done yet. That's pretty exciting. But I think, you know, with me and Scotty, we're... We're both pretty young, but Scotty's been um, trucking along pretty good in the in the development series. So, um, you know, providing we get everything right, I'd say like we'd want to be in the top 15. Um, you know, and everything and all the stars align, maybe a top 10. But you know, that's what everybody's hoping for, I suppose. So that was Taz Douglas with Grant Rowley there. Let's head to Dick Johnson for the Crimsafe V8 Supercar Endurance Rating. Speed Cafe's rating on the Lucas Dumbrell team is four out of ten. New team. 
rookie drivers, pretty fair. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Four out of ten. That is pretty brutal for Taz and Scott. It is. I mean, it's, it's a tough one. Last year, actually, this is a car I drove with Russell Ingham and we finished eighth. So it's, it's a good car. It's, uh, it, as JB said, it's identical to the Vodafone cars and there should be no reason why it, it's not capable of a top five or top ten. But unfortunately, the team and the drivers are probably not at the Vodafone level but they'll be trying their hardest. So we mentioned Scott Pye. He'll be driving on an identical car in the Dunlop series, which will help him enormously being a Bathurst rookie. He did get some laps earlier in the year in the Bathurst 12-hour. But, um, you know, they'd be ones to watch. A top 10 result would be almost a win for these guys. Um, so, look, you, you, I've, I've put my money on worse people, but, uh, look, I think, a, like, like I said, a top 10 would be as good as a win. JB, give us a finishing spot. If everything goes right for this Lucas Dumbrell Motorsport car... What is the best finishing position they could hope for come Bathurst? It's not in my nature to agree with the Perkins, but, <laughs> but I do agree with him. Uh, if, if they could finish in the 10th, I mean, it would be like winning. Uh, you know, they could seriously celebrate. They, they've got lots of potential going forward long term, but, you know, to finish 10th at Bathurst with the field as it is now is a pretty good effort, and, and if they can do that, good on them. All right, there's Lucas Dumbrell Motorsport and Tony Delberto Racing. Stay tuned to speedcafe.com tomorrow. The Crimsay V8 Supercar Endurance Countdown will continue. Tomorrow we've got Techno Motorsport. You can win a very rare piece of V8 Supercar memorabilia. Collect Dick Johnson's Speed Cafe Crimsafe ratings and you can use those ratings to enter the draw to win a brand new 18-inch V8 Supercar control wheel signed by Craig Lowndes. Make sure you keep logging on to speedcafe.com for more details on how you can win. Watch me race, Grandpa. Protecting the things you love is really important. That's why when it comes to security screens, ask for the real crim safe. Look out for the rock. If it's not crim safe. It's not crim safe.